you stole money from the school district, bought alcohol, put it on the school credit card, and took money from our children. Wow, that's a heck of an allegation at Monday night's Clintondale school board meeting. Shame on you for doing that. Shame on you for doing that. But it gets worse. For the record, the superintendent does not drink. Well, that clarifies that, I think. Why was a $9 drink put on your bill for your room? I had a Sprite in off the bar. That's no. what I had. I, I'll show you the, your receipt with a $9 drink on your room. This is getting serious. I drink. I'll let everybody know that. Double Tito's and cranberry. <laughs> Apparently, the dispute is about an April National School Board Conference in San Diego, and $1,500 or so was allocated for personal incidentals. There's nothing on mine, so you can show you're, anything you're you want. This is Mr. Broderick's. A $9 drink on 4 Sprite. 22 22 Sprite. $9. Sprite. $9 drink. This is your room. Sprite. But if you do a fundraiser or an event, it's supposed to go back to the school and not for your own personal use. Those are allegations. They haven't been proven, have they? Um, I hear different stories. Stories or not, a search warrant was delivered to the Clintondale Community School District by Clinton Township Police requesting various financial records from June 1st through the present. No court action has yet been taken, but there was more criticism about the superintendent, Rodriguez Broadneck's qualifications for the job that he's had for a year. Was there a reputation before you got here that yes. this was a bad district? Yes. And you didn't want your kids to go here? No. But in a statement by the board's president, we saw great progress under his leadership during the first year with the district. Such progress is why the board decided to extend his contract. On the matter involving the review of the district's expenses, we cannot provide any information until the review has been completed. I love the new superintendent. I think he's making some great strides to improve things here, and I think people need to leave him alone and let him work. And apparently the board agrees, extending his contract for another year. In Clinton Township, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.